Stay tuned for part three as we continue our interview with Rick Baker, founder of Easton Heroes, and learn more about his Bruce Lee journey. Also hear Rick Baker discuss the Game of Death Redux produced by Alan Canvan that was shown on the big screen at the Urban Action Showcase. Hear Rick discuss the new Bruce Lee collectibles he has coming out and much more. So, yeah, because we were doing the panel. Yeah, yeah, death, yeah. And I wanted people to know, you know, this is... And I'll tell you something. Um, the print Alan Canvan put out, whatever you're looking for, oh, has it got new footage? Has it got Bruce Lee fighting three women? What's in there? What we haven't seen before? What you're seeing is a beautifully recolored palette with the John Barry soundtrack taken but skewed with the beat and the heart of the film. Nice. Which you're lost, so it's moved. Dun, 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 dun. You know, that tension, that John Barry soundtrack is fantastic. It really is. And you know, even I listen to that without that, and I think, to be honest with you, I said to Alan, without that soundtrack, that film may not just have had that. I say it just fuses together those two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Da da da. I go first. Yeah. You know, and it's just, and I don't know what Bruce would have done if he'd have lived, because that obviously came about after Bruce's yeah, death. Yeah. You know, and I think Raymond thought to himself, you know what? We're going to appeal to the West for this. We've had the End of the Dragons come out. Let's make this look as Western as possible. Let's have a uh, a James Bond style opening credit we'll just hope the middle people think it's Bruce Lee and then for the last 11 minutes the, th the, 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 the portion of the film you remember best it'll be Bruce Lee you walk out you think you've seen Bruce Lee of course we live in the UK we got 8 minutes because it was cut for the non so we were we they were, cut everything on we you guys really I know we really man suffered. so yes yeah, so you know that was great there I did a, an awards presentation for him in front of the audience oh nice and then of course it gave me a chance because I had a like so a did theme. they feature the uh, the Game of Death uh, Redux over there at it the, was the uh, world premiere yeah, there was the oh, so premiere. I thought it would be there because it yeah. was in IMAX like quality oh nice to see it properly with the music on a big screen and then when I've seen that film a thousand times before on your TV or on your big screen sit in a the theatre and watch it it's the only way it was made for the cinema. It's more like a, it doesn't like a, 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 it looks like a short Bruce Lee 30 minute movie now without the backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I appreciate it. You know, people may have knocked on the way up there, but when you watch Bruce Lee's framing, when you see the way Bruce, um, you know, you've got three people at the pagoda. Two of them think there's something great up there because they're going to risk their life, but Bruce is on a journey. And he says, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't care if I die, you know, I don't fear death. His journey was completely different to that of the other two. Yeah. Because they're racing. They must think there's something up there beyond uh, victory of the beating. Mm -hmm. You've got it, when it comes, they're going to say it, it's a completely well constructed. It's his version. Would Bruce have done it the same way? Uh, it, it, it's not trying to be Bruce. It's just trying to show this theme of the music. So you approve how Alan put it together? It, it is a masterpiece. Ma masterpiece. How many minutes was it? It's 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And the, the new redubbing and Chris Kent coming back on board. Oh, nice. Doing that, you know what I mean? And the, the, When's it going to come out? You know, is it uh, already? Well, they're trying to do a deal now. They wanted to put it onto like a streaming channel. But, um, you know, I was so happy to see it on the big screen. Even into the, even any film you've seen of Bruce Lee, you go back and watch it in a the theatre. Oh, it's a think, whole different experience. On 35 mil or something. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's come crazy. On. It's crazy. You can have your 4, 8K. Wow. 35 mil with a few scratches. That's for me. Yeah. So, what was your purpose of going to the uh, Urban Action Showcase this year? Well, around? I helped promote it with uh, Dimitri. We made a front cover, like nice. put some of the stars on. And I wanted to come over to America because at some stage next year, I'm going to try and launch Eastern Heroes in America. Oh, very nice, man. Wow. And maybe in LA. And so, to get it sort of more, more established. And I hadn't been abroad for a while. And this was a chance to meet people, some friends I've never seen before. Come and see my friends like Vincent. Come and get. So, it, it was a. It was a, a, a chance to, to, to network, meet people that you've never met, yeah. that you feel you know them, yeah. and to uh, have an holiday. Yeah, well, I'm honored to meet you, man. I, I always wanted to meet you. It's 77 degrees out there. I mean, it's this. I, I come dressed yeah. with the. Well, this is unusual weather shoes. for us here, man. 75 degrees in November, you don't usually see this. It's going back down to 40 in a couple of days. So you came here yeah. at a good time. No, it is. And it's good to see now with the, with the magazines and books. You know, there's a lot out there now, but you know, I think. Oh, it'd be much nicer the Bruce Lee community unite and yes. rather than just 
what have you got? Yeah. He's got that photograph. I don't like him because he's got that. You know, it's really, it, you'll never grow something if it becomes too segregated. Yeah. You're well, never growing. You do a great job with that, and you're always releasing not just you know the same old images, but you're always trying to give something special to yeah, the fans yeah, and, and collectors. You put in a couple of new photographs that you come across. Yeah. So what can we expect moving forward? What's the newest project coming out for you that the fans well, and I'm collectors can look forward to? When what I get you, back, the, you? The, 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 the issue number six is the Big Boss. Sorry, is a, is a Bruce Lee special, and we've got um, the artist who done that, uh, Darren Wheeling did an excellent job and inside that we've got some of his artwork but we've got look at Long Street, look at that. Then we've got the softback which we do, now we do this because some people have hardback but I do the hardback with just the main stories. Then with the softback we pad that out with, well I say pad it out, we get people to put their rare memory bit. Now John Negron has dedicated this two or three times now and he's got such a collection so if you're into collecting you get 40 pages of some rare items you may never afford them but at least you know they exist and they're real. And so we do this softback, which then goes out to Virgin and nice. HMD. The hardbacks of the collectors, only ever 100 done. Yeah, yeah. So those two will come out. We'll do volume five and six of the ETG scrapbooks. And then I'm doing Caught on Camera, which comes out with a end of the month. And that comes out with a seven inch single. Oh, that's nice. a gloss book. That's not, a, that's not available oh, anywhere. Oh, so because normally you do matte, right, pages? And yeah. you're doing a gloss, book, gloss and, book. And what's the theme of that one? It's called uh, Caught on Camera. Various photographs of Bruce. Oh, uh, Bruce, Caught on Camera. And it's for, coming out with the vinyl? Quality, coming out uh, with the vinyl. That'll only be 60 issues. Wow, so that's going to be... Sold to Japan. So when I launch well, it... Well, get ready for that, guys. When you see that launch, and then just grab we'll, one. Then we'll do a soft back cover for Virgin. Don't yeah. the paper. But we're doing one special one, which is on silk paper yeah. for that one. So that wow. And then after that, I think there's a few other projects. I'm just working on a documentary right now. Not the Bruce Lee one, something completely different. And I'm also working on a movie. Can't really go into those things. Um, but there'll be news. Yeah, I'm, I'm producing my first movie with my friend Ken Miller. Uh, and it's a proper movie. It's, well, not, a, it's not a, you know, it's a we, real, real movie. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Well, uh, that's some great the work you're doing there, Ricky. The documentaries we, we're doing right now is, um, as again, it's not on Bruce Lee. It is on martial arts, and that's a big budget documentary. Yeah. So part of that, when you're coming out here, you're meeting with people. I mean, it's, it's. I'm trying to expand, not just for Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. but to, mm -hmm. to do my other love, which is Hong Kong cinema. Nice, nice. Yeah. It, it, it's great when you can find someone, and you said this numerous times today when we were at lunch, that it's nice to find something you have a passion for that you love, because then it doesn't feel like work anymore, right? You stay, tell me you stay up to <laughs> wee hours the night putting it, these it things is, together, is, and you find right. it, your the enjoyment. Your partner thinks you're on sex channels, but yeah. you're not really. You're <laughs> down there, you know, doing it, you know, uh, you, you know you're really doing it. It is, it is, and it, it ain't, you don't become rich from this. Yeah. If you did it because you want to become rich, you would give up. Because people think if you do Bruce Lee stuff, you're making a fortune. No, it doesn't no. sell yeah. like it did in the 70s. Yeah. You're not going to put like a, a, a Kung Fu month out that did 100,000, you know, different doesn't ball game today. Yeah. Two or yeah. 300. Yeah. You know, and maybe over the period. So there's no of these big figures that come out. Unless I brought out the book, Bruce Lee, Unseen Pictures, then. 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 Bruce Lee, a thousand mm. unseen pictures, all yeah. in one book, all in, my, in full gloss all in my color. Attic. <laughs> all in my attic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and they come with a free negative. So, what's the rarest item that you have? And I know you don't collect anymore, but do you have a rare item that uh, you really take pride in, or that means a lot to you? Of in, in I, I stopped collecting. You did, yeah. Because I see so much stuff. I've been very fortunate to know a lot of the Bruce Lee people in the right place. I've seen more Bruce Lee stuff than probably most will ever see. Yeah. I've seen more rare pictures than you haven't seen. I've seen, if you, if you either collect or you don't. I'm not saying down the line when I quit all and retire that I might go and buy a few bits to put back in. But for me, I, I, it's a creator. I'm a creator, yeah. you know what I mean? And you, but you need the collectors and you need those sort of people. But for me, it would just make it too difficult because I would find it very hard to Get rid of them. Yeah. And then suddenly you're like a hoarder. You've got this. It's you know, true. That's what the collectors you know, are going through now. You know, yeah. They have these huge collections, and you and go, What you am I going to do with it one yeah, day? What and you it's, do? Yeah. Kids, you need to sell it before so you get the best price for your kids. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if I come around to price it up and you're passing on, you know, I'm going to say it's about $1,000 here. <laughs> you know I mean? you know, knowing it's worth 60 or 70, I'll give you 1500 There you go. You know what I mean, on it? You know what I mean? 
Well, just, what, what, what would you like to leave us with here today? I know I don't want to keep you. You had a long day. You flew in from the UK. You had a long day yesterday. Anything you want to say to the fans or you know, the collectors I mean, I'm, out there? I'm, you know, something. some people watching this know me personally, some people don't. Yeah. But really, you know what I mean? I, 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 this has made me so many nice friends. And you're always going to have people that probably don't like you. For whatever reason, they don't even know you. It's part of the game, you man. Don't know you for any game. But, yeah. you know, but the good thing is, I've got enough good friends. Yeah, you do make that. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. There we go. But you're doing this more because it's been like a journey for me. You've been with Bruce Lee since '73. Yep. Still, you've, you've done all the Hong Kong stuff, and I'm just so grateful that people still support it, still the magazines, etc. And Without then, you've got nothing. If you don't be nice to the people that are with you or helping you, it's yeah. like the film stuff, you don't be nice to them. What's the point? Because they're the ones spending their money. I always try to make my stuff reasonably priced. Um, well, you do a great job with that. You really you know, do. And I really like to feel that... Um, you know, I, I'll probably do this to the day I die, you know, I'll be honest with you. Well, I wanted to give you something that I put out back 20, 22 years ago, and these are some catalogs okay. uh, take playing off your lead that I put out, nice. uh, you know, a years ago. That was col uh, Collector's Catalog number two. I put this out. This shows over 750 collectibles in my collection. The other one shows about 500 collectibles in my collection. And, you know, back in the day, people always wanted to know, you know, what your collection looked like. And there was no way back in the mid-90s how to show people. So I put these catalogs together. And I want you to have them. And it lists everything the from Lottie Cards, The thing is, I'm looking through this now. For the moment, I feel like I want to become a buyer again. <laughs> you know. And to store some stuff. So a lot of this stuff, you had doubles off, so you would sell some yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I put them together, not only to show Show the collectors what I have, but there was doubles that they were looking for, yeah, and they see, picked one, them up from here. You had with like photographs in as well, didn't you? Didn't you have a photographic? Yeah, I had uh, photos on Enter the Dragon, uh, photos on Game of Death, and I did a photo book of Bruce Lee, and then I did a specific Enter the Dragon photo book on Bruce Lee of all. I've never seen the photos books. that came out on Bruce Lee. When did they come out? I've never seen them. Yeah, I, I did eight of these, and they came out in the maybe 2000, 2001. So I started putting all my photos because I have like 2,000 photos in my collection. So I started putting photo books together wow. besides just magazines and books and posters and lobby cards so those are for you man enjoy them they're collectible items well, in themselves you know something? Now. i will be in my hotel room tonight and this will be like my i want to say porn but, <laughs> but, 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 but um, you know this would be this would be something i'd look at you know something it's really nice and you know something it's been really nice it's very kind i'm just looking around at hector's uh fabulous collection I mean to be honest with you I've not been into many people's houses who do display their collection yes like this. and and you know this reflects a person that obviously it, it's meticulous it, it's very I can imagine this is something you could titivate on a weekly day basis like spring cleaning mm -hmm. I'm sure you can sit here and think I'm just gonna swap that round about you know yeah. and it all looks mint condition to me well he takes and a lot of pride in it, 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 it collectors do stuff. seem to yep. it, it is condition isn't it mm -hmm. it's magazines yes. whatever and and you look around and it's 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 i don't there's a few people i know in, in england probably like i think we're talking about like dave love dave and, love and and peter reynolds, peter reynolds. And that, you know that do it and it's an expensive hobby you you you, you know you can't just be doing this on uh, on a small income but then again what you're looking at here is 30 or so years of collecting yeah it's not like you went out actor went out and uh, come back last week and i've been, I've been yeah. just spent it's a more bit, like 50 years money. of collecting in here right i would say it's about yeah, yeah. Know, but you look at it but i've never seen it like this presented and no matter how many you see photographs so you, you can never do it justice than when you're sitting yes in the room yeah and it's all around you and you your eyes are just flickering around looking I mean, you can't see what I can see, um, but but you know, you look around and uh, uh, it, it's there's so some stuff I've never seen. Once. What it is, it's like a memory trip because at some stage, some of this stuff has come through my hands, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you see it and you think to yourself, "Wow, it's a trip down yeah. memory lane, man, all and, over and, again." And, and this is, I, I I resent collectors that buy a lot of stuff and just store it in the attic. Yeah. If you can't. Somebody said to me, if you've not looked at something within a year, get rid of it, because it doesn't mean that much. Exactly. To you. So if you're not looking at something at least once a year, then it has no value to you. And yeah, I guess, I, you know, that's what it is. But yeah. here, you can see it. I guess Hector's going to have to build an extension. So <laughs> goes, and he's going to do that, like a low like ceiling. Like a loft or something. Yeah, or some sort a of like... A duplex. Some sort of like uh, butchers, like a lucky... Like a, <laughs> in the middle here. Like a, like, I don't know. That's what he's going to need next, man. 
<laughs> well, this has been real, man. I, I appreciate you uh, taking your time for this interview. Thank you very Ricky. much. Yeah, yeah no problem, man. Thank, right yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, and I'd like to thank Hector for his hospitality. Yes. And coming and shoot this afternoon. It's very kind of Hector. Same here, man. Same here. Thank you very much. And for those of you new to the channel, man, please subscribe. Leave a comment for Ricky. Tell him oh, how yeah, much please, you appreciate. Listen, I would love to do a channel. But it's just too much time, I have too much going on. So, but I mean, I do support other people's channels, so it is it is going. And maybe what I might do in the future is send a couple of things out so that Charles can do a competition. There we go, there we go, nice. Yeah, so I'd love to do that. Out. Yeah, yeah. Competition. We'll do a little giveaway or a competition. Yeah, right, absolutely. Yes. No, I think that's a good idea. Thank you, yes, right? absolutely. We'll do all that. So well, remember, as I said in my magazines, keep the faith. There we go, and have fun collecting, guys. We'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks for joining us. There we go, man. Wow. That's good, Ricky. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh. I wear <laughs> Vincent Lynn and Jackie Chan. For real? Yeah. Oh, Vincent, yeah. yeah. Good old Vincent. He looks good there. You saw him at the Urban Anthem Showcase? Is he there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having lunch with him tomorrow. He's great. Uh, with Vincent? Yeah, Vincent is a good guy. Absolutely. Wow. It's, I've been trying to find a pair of these in my size, but they don't have a size to buy. I love these boots. No, I've looked all over, man. eBay and everywhere. You can't find them. Size 12, I mean, you don't have yeah, a. You know, what are you looking for? Oh. <laughs> no, what are you looking for? I'm actually no. looking for a pair of these no. gold oh, boots. Okay. In okay. size 12. I got a big foot. Okay. But these only come like in size 10 or 10, 10, 11 yeah. the most max. Yeah. yeah. So if you know anybody out there that has these in a size 12, 12. or 13, oh, I'll take them. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. Dolce. Cool. I'm here with <laughs> Rick Baker trying to find some items for his store, Eastern Heroes. And his bodyguard, Simon Pritchard. Charles. And Charles is here, ready it's to record everything for his channel. Yes. Uh, my bodyguard's absolutely a load of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending back to the agency. Oh, man. He's sending him back to the We're agency. Oh, look at the Gong Fu shoes over here. I got to get a brand new pair of these, man. I need a new pair of uh, Gong Fu shoes. I want to look like Min. You, you know this guy named Min Long? I want to look just like him. <laughs> yeah, little bells and... I love these shots, man. I love these shots.